but there were some things we left out there. Um, I mean, it was a good week of practice, and I think that's some guys realize that the correlation between having good practice and then having a good game as a team. So if we keep that going, I think we're on the right path. How much, JT. Of, yeah. how much of a confidence booster is it, though? 60 plus points against a team that beats Texas on the road, beats a good Minnesota team. I mean, to hang that many points on a team like this, I mean, what do you guys take away from something like um, that? Yeah, we knew that was a good football team coming in here, uh, and I think we were on the tight, uh, ready to play. Um, I think that was something that was addressed yesterday. It means to make sure that you know we're not caught sleeping. Make sure I'm attacking because we knew they were a good team. JT, it looks like you and Benjamin Victor have something going on. I mean, uh, uh, more and more, uh, you seem to be able to put the ball up for grabs, up for grabs to a certain extent with him and stuff. But what is going on with, there with you and get, you two guys? I think uh, that was just a good conversation. Uh, if you're referring to the touchdown, the red zone touchdown pass. Uh, I mean, that's something that has uh, been coached up. Yeah, I didn't mean up for grabs in a sense. I mean, yeah, but, you, yeah. but you put it up there, he'll go get it. Yeah, so uh, I think that's part of it. Down in the red zone, top shelf, I mean, that's where the ball has to be uh, based on coverage, and I think that was something good. Um, so it was good. How comfortable are you feeling right now with, with your guys? And you hit a lot of targets today, and uh, how comfortable, how, how close is this offense to being where, where Coach Wilson and you and Coach Day won? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, just keep on improving each and every day. Um, understand myself, um, you know what I'm saying? Just go out there and not be timid, be confident in our guys and uh, let it rip and, you know, those guys, they came here to make plays, so let them go make plays. So I think it's all coming together. You feel on a rhythm now? Um, yeah, it's, it's coming. Do you, you feel different, JT, than like a month ago? It seems like every single week and you're maybe adding something more to your arsenal. At least that's the way it looks. Do you feel like a different QB than earlier in the season? Is that um, fair to say? Yeah, I mean, I think the, just, you know, being confident in what we do, what we're calling. Um, and I think that's also been something, too, as far as um, – and of course, the game getting experience with those guys, and then having the conversation on the sidelines of what they're seeing, so we're on the same page. So all those things take time, and so at the end of the year, you know, we had practice, but as far as like in game, you know, when lights are on and you know pressure's on, we didn't really have that. So now being able to have that, I think, is helping everybody. JT, the looked like the one throw in the corner to. Uh to Ben, it was incomplete in the corner of the end zone and you went and talked to him right away. Is that a, a, a read or a miscommunication on the route? Or? Um, yeah, so I, I checked the play and um, I mean, it was just miscommunication on that. Cause that's something we've done in practice before, but it was just um, within the game, he's almost like wasn't expecting the ball being that. When I check it normally, I go the opposite way, but you know, we worked it out. You, you said letting it rip today. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like to us. It looks like you're you're stepping up and and throwing it with confidence and throwing it to guys who are in between coverage and that kind of thing. And we've asked you a lot of questions about that over the years. That's what it looks like to us that you're doing. Do you feel like you're doing that as maybe as good as you ever have? Um, I don't know about that. Um, I mean, if anything, just being confident. Uh, like I said, that it's all been a process, like uh, gain, gain confidence with your receivers. I mean, you know, them being in the right spot, me uh, believing in them, uh, I think that's all something that takes time and something that, you know, we needed games to really uh, enhance that. So I think that's something that's going well for us right Can now. you see anything that the way you guys have thrown it the last month, defenses are playing you in a way that then other things are opening up? Is it making the run game better? Are you getting to do you know, things in the past game? Well, we did this well, now they're covering that, now we have another option. Can you see that developing? Yeah, that's all part of, you know, playing offenses that, um, you know, in the course of a week, a defense is going to, you know, prepare for, uh, only a certain amount of things, right? So with that, uh, you got to have uh, plays that can complement those. Uh, may look the same, but maybe something different. So all those things, uh, you know, come together. So I think that's something that's part of it. Hey, JT, uh, talk a little bit. You had a little bit of a different look um, behind center at some points today with the pistol formation, with the running back behind and the tight end to your right or left. Kind of talk about how, like, when that kind of was set up and kind of how that might have affected the running game a little bit. Um, I thought it was good for for us, um, I think that's something that um, has been good. I think, you know, our running backs like it too. They get a full head of steam going downhill. Um, 
be able to make cuts and things like that. So I think it's the main thing is getting those guys rolling off the ball, the whole line rolling off the ball. Um, and we're just kind of um, playing confidence, being that they're not reading. Because sometimes the, with our run game, so far, the line has to read the linebackers and DMs too. So with that, they're rolling off the ball. And I think that's good. Yeah, when was that in last question that in practice this week? Was that a new change or something you've been working on? Uh, we've, been, we've been doing it. Losing a starting offensive lineman? Yeah, so uh, Brandon Bowen is on our prayers. Uh, that's a tough loss. Uh, he had a lot of momentum going. I think he's going he's gonna to bounce back from this. And, uh, you know, now it's getting Matt Burrell ready uh, to play next week. And, uh, Make sure he has a great week of practice so we feel confident going into the game. Great. Thank, Thank you, JT. Thank you.